Back here all new at six fresh off of her show stealing turn at the Grammys. Fantasia Barino is dominating the headlines. The North Carolina native recently starred in the critically acclaimed movie The Color Purple based off the Broadway show, of course. But this opportunity isn't just a role of a lifetime, but a journey towards her own healing. That's right. WCNC Charlotte was at the Queen City premiere of the movie and our Nick Sturdivant takes a look at Fantasia's journey to the big screen. December 23rd, the stars were out. Like I said, I'm proud of her, man. She deserve it. All the flowers that she's getting, and uh, God just keep blessing her and blessing her, man. You know, winning the competition to, to hear, this is another one of those big milestones. You know what I'm saying? A big night for singer and actress Fantasia Barino. She hosted a screening for family and friends in Charlotte for her new movie, The Color Purple. So it means more to me than to be in L.A., Miami, Atlanta, New York. We right here in the Queen right City. Here. All smiles along with a few tears of joy. To bring this back home, to share this with like all of my friends and my family, it means I'm the world to me. I'm trying not to cry my makeup off. Fantasia's journey to the big screen starts about an hour and a half away in High Point, North Carolina. Her musical roots begin in the church that was led by her grandmother and mother. But at 14, she dropped out of high school and at 17 became pregnant. Two years later, struggling to make ends meet, she auditioned for American Idol, winning it all in 2004. Not long after winning, Fantasia released her debut album, Free Yourself. You don't want me, then don't talk to me. And the New York Times bestselling memoir, Life is Not a Fairy Tale. I think, you know, that God gifted her. Um, that he um, put a call on her life to be able to bless others through the gift that he has given her. But things were far from rosy. In 2007, she played Celie on the Broadway production of The Color Purple. In an interview with Variety in November, she said, quote, my life was in shambles, the role forcing her to deal with her own trauma, similar to Celie's, dealing with the history of violence and sexual abuse in her personal life. She told Variety, quote, I could let go of every man that's put his hands on me. I freed myself from that. 16 years later, the wife, mother, and Grammy Award winning singer is playing the character on the big screen, hoping to inspire. Oh, the, the healing that takes place. In the end, Celie forgives Mr. Yes. And when you watch the movie, you'll see why I said that. Awesome. I want people to leave this movie and call people they ain't talked to in a long time. Life is short. And for Fantasia, she says, at this point, life is good. And I want them to see that, baby, you can be whatever you want to be. Reporting for WCNT Charlotte, I'm Nick Sturdivant.